Okay, in the previous couple of chapters, we've learned how to differentiate. But in this chapter, we're going to be learning how to reverse that process. In other words, how to undo differentiation. Now we're going to start with polynomials. Now, if you remember, polynomials are functions like y equals x cubed, for example. And we learned that to differentiate these, what we do is we take the power there, 3, we multiply by the power, we put it down to the front, and then we subtract 1 from the power. So in other words, if we were to differentiate this, we would get 3x squared, right? The power comes down to the front, we multiply by the power, and then we subtract 1 from the power. Well, now let's say what we wanted to do is we wanted to reverse this process. In other words, let's say that we started with y prime is equal to 3x squared. Could we undo that to find out what y is? Well, if we're going to do that, we're not just going to have to reverse the steps, but we've also got to go through them in reverse order. In other words, we've got to start with step 2 and undo that, and then do step 1 and undo that. So... Previously, we subtracted 1 from the power. So what have we got to do here? Well, we've got to add 1 to the power. So this thing here, x to the power of 2, is going to become x to the power of 3. Okay, so you've got 3x to the power of 3. Okay, well then, after that, instead of multiplying by my power, I'm going to have to divide by my power. So I'm going to take this new power of 3, and I'm going to divide by 3. So what I'm going to end up with there is x cubed. And that's almost my answer. But we've got to remember there's actually something a little bit special, which is we've got to include a constant at the end plus c. Now I'm going to try to explain why that is in a moment. But for the time being, just accept it. And what we're going to do is we're going to practice this process of reversing differentiation. So let's try a couple of examples. Let's say we've got y prime is equal to 5x to the power of 2. If we were to reverse that, we've got to add 1 to the power. So the power of 2 becomes power of 3, and then we've got to divide by the new power. So we get 5 thirds x cubed. Let's try another one. Let's say that we had y equals 6x to the power of 4. If we were to reverse the process of differentiation, we add 1 to the power. So that becomes 5, and we divide by the new power. And remember, in both these cases, we have to add a constant, c. Okay, let's try, try a couple more. Let's say we had uh, y prime is equal to the square root of x. We're going to make it a little bit more tricky. Well, in order to do this, we should probably write this as x to the power of a half. And so then if we were to reverse differentiation, we've got to add 1 to the power. So that's going to become power of 3 upon 2. And then we're going to divide by 3 upon 2. And of course, dividing by 3 upon 2 is the same thing as timesing by 2 thirds. So I get 2 thirds x to the power of 3 upon 2. And remember, what we've got to do is we've got to add a constant c. Got to add a constant c. OK? All right. I hope that's helpful, guys. It's a very, very short, very simple introduction to reversing differentiation. I will see you again next time.